so I'm just about to head into work but I just wanted to do a quick ovulation tracking update. Um, yesterday morning was my fifth day of tracking ovulation and I got a very pretty practically a positive. They want the test line to be either the same strength as the control line or darker so pretty close to being positive. Um, I called the nurse and let them know that it was slightly fainter than the control line but very very close um, and she asked for me to get my blood drawn which I did yesterday morning. Um, the test didn't come back yesterday so I just got a call this morning from the nurse saying that um, the LH surge is beginning but it's not quite there um, and so she asked for me to redo it this morning so I just got my blood drawn my arm is quite sore actually I think the lady who did did it didn't quite get my vein because it never hurts before my I'm so my arms are so veiny um, it's always straightforward to get blood out of me um, usually the pain is only just the prick of the needle going in and coming out um, but there was hardly any blood coming out and it was really sore I was getting pins and needles in my hand and it's quite sore now so that was an interesting experience um, not quite sure what she did but so I'll get those results this afternoon um, I'd say given my I haven't done a home ovulation test today because I'd run out the fifth one yesterday was the last one in the box um, but I'd say it would be a strong positive today so given that it looks like my embryo transfer will be most likely next Wednesday the 30th of November um, but I'll keep you posted once I hear back from the nurse this afternoon guys so it's Friday morning I got the call yesterday afternoon from the nurse with my blood results for my second blood test for my LH surge um, and it hadn't increased much from the day before so it had gone from 9 to 10.1 so it's not the surge they want to see um, so I just got my blood redrawn didn't hurt as much as yesterday um, which is good so I'll get the results in the afternoon and fingers crossed the surge will be there. Okay guys, I have no idea what is going on with my body. Um, I just got home from work, it's Friday afternoon. The nurse called me with my third blood test results for my LH levels. It's gone from 10.1 to 10.9. So it's not surging, I don't know what's going on. I'm cycle day 22 today, so the follicle last Friday at my scan was 13 millimetres. So, I mean, they say they should grow between 1 to 2 millimetres a day. So it would be, I'm guessing, it would be above 20 um, or close to it. No, it would be above 20 at least, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20 millimeters at least. So I was given a couple of options. The first was to continue having blood tests over the weekend to see if the surge happens in the next couple of days and if not have a scan on Monday. The second option was my OB will be at the day procedure center tomorrow morning um, and so he's offered to give me a scan before those procedures um, just to you know avoid those extra blood tests and um, see whether I've still got a follicle sitting there ready to be released or whether it's just disintegrated into nothing. Um, it's all very odd. I don't know, obviously stress might have a part to play and maybe that's why I haven't ovulated yet. Um, I'm hoping that's the case and I'm hoping there's a follicle there because if there isn't, they said that the only way to continue with this month and this cycle is to switch from a natural cycle to a hormone replacement cycle which means I'm going to be having to take estrogen tablets, progesterone pessaries three times a day and progesterone shots which I wasn't going to be given this cycle. So the progesterone shots are really given to me so everything's covered it is my last frozen embryo so they're just wanting to you know if it's not a natural cycle they're just wanting to do everything they can 
um, to make it a success, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about switching from a natural cycle to a, all these drugs. I've done two embryo transfers so far, both fresh transfers after IVF cycles when my body has been pumped with hormones and pumped with um, meds. I just, and I haven't had any success with those transfers. I've had more success this year conceiving naturally so that's why I wanted to kind of keep it as natural as possible because that's what's worked for me I guess. Um, so I think what I guess it's just waiting to see what comes up on the scan tomorrow. Um, I may not have to go down that path. The third option would be to cancel this cycle completely and, you know, start again in after Christmas. Hopefully there'll be a follicle at tomorrow's scan um, and perhaps I'll be given the trigger injection just to help things along. Um, fingers crossed that's the case. I mean, it could be worse, but... I'm, I'm just really hoping that there's still a follicle there tomorrow and that we can just, you know, it's as simple as just giving me a trigger and we're back on track. Wishing all of my American subscribers a very happy Thanksgiving. Hope you've had a beautiful holiday um, with family and friends and eaten lots of delicious food. I'm also wanting to do a giveaway very, very soon, um, so keep your eyes peeled for that. I'll be filming a video probably over the weekend. Um, to let you know what I want to do um, but anyway I'll be filming another video tomorrow after the scan and um, let you know how I go love and baby dust you all wait for the wind wait for the night stand here while take a little time